Hey guys, welcome back. So here's another update on some bits and bobs I've either been working on or actually have finished up for once. So this guy, uh, I don't know if you might recognize him. This guy is from Ramshackle Games. And I think his name is either Sausage or Big Sausage. Or think of that, whatever you will, like, you know. He's got a few sausages down his back here. He's got a pan. I thought at first he was like a huge dwarf because he's quite big, you know. Like he's 28 uh, millimeter normal scale fella, right? And he's quite big. I'd say he's an ogre. And, it, you know, I did. I had a lot of fun with the metals. But I'm not so great with the flesh. But, you know, I'm pretty happy with him. He's got a lot of character. And he's very, he's like a solid unit of an ogre. So that's another ogre for the for the army or for the collection. I like his hat as well. It's unique. But, um, yeah, as you can see here, I've got a few bits actually finished up. These are from an order I made from Ramsack, Ramshackle Games. Um, I'll put a link down in the description. Recently enough, um, he did a mad, he does this mad deal sometimes. I think they were like 30 quid or something. He yeah, a load of minis for you. He's, he's crazy. I don't know how you're how you're making any money, Curtis, man. Like, but, you know, these are prisoners. And uh, 28 mil, really nice sculpts. So you got two male, two female. And, you know, I did my usual kind of quick and dirty paint jobs. You got dwarf here as well. Pretty sweet. Not a ginger, actually. I went for more of a... Kind of a sandy blonde or this creature as well nothing special man like my paint jobs are pretty uh standard you know what i mean tabletop we'll say or the shaman guy quite cool chunky guy they could easily be turned into an orc actually just paint the skin green you know you could have a shaman there and these are guys as well that i've yet to get to but crab men i got a few of these really class like you probably get away with this for fantasy i know he's got a little bit of armor here you get Get away with fantasy or sci-fi, but that's class, man. That's so cool. And I'll take them um, dry brushing really well. I think one of my favorites is this little goblin, which is just like a classic loot goblin with the massive teeth. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. I I really like teeth. You've probably seen it in my sculpts as well. That says sculpting teeth is like so. I don't satisfying. It's so satisfying to paint as well. But yeah, he's a classic goblin. So if you have if you're playing Stargrave, or if you're playing, what's it, Space Station Zero, or any of those type of ones, and you don't have these monkeys, you don't have these sci-fi monkeys, either featuring in your collection or in your team, I don't know what you're doing, like, you're doing it wrong, basically. Look at that. So I'm really looking forward to painting these guys up. He's got a, he's got a power fist like that, it's unreal. Class stuff on his website man uh ramshackle games you know check it out anyway but as you can see there's more of these little robots that i've done here which is just from beads and other bits and bobs this guy's cool and everything but i think if his eyes were bigger he'd be cuter in some way so i would make more of these in the future they're super simple and i kind of plan on doing more action poses because these are quite static which i suppose suits a robot but i don't know i really like them i really like them this guy was a bit of a weird choice with the, the long neck but hey you know I, I think i got away with it his gun is pretty cool Happy with the gun. I'm still kind of messing with the gun designs. For each one, they kind of seem to be different. Or this guy is quite different, actually. He's like a, a wheel bot. I'll say this wires, bead, you know, this little bit of EVA foam you see for the hands there, the back. And he's got some kind of like harpoon with a, a gun, some kind of laser attached to it. So he'd be obviously your fast attack choice. Um, and this robot as well is very simple this is just a block of comb myself from work i just thought how kind of simple could i make it i kind of wish now i made his head a box like a, a block as well just to have it really angular um, and then he has this kind of these arms that are still movable because they're go-go's but they have wire wrapped around them so you can kind of somewhat pose them and his claws are just uh, cardboard and beads and that was another bead and then i think it's either paper or cardboard over and really simple you know uh using a thumbtack just to make some, let's say, holes to make it look like they're riveted on and some quick dry brushing. Really quick one, but more so just to see how it would work, how kind of simple I could get with it. I'm not, I don't really like this guy, to be honest with you, but I think it it works. Do you know what I mean? It's an idea I might come back to, but uh, especially the texture is quite nice. I'm pretty happy with that. Like, it's really simple, but it's quite interesting. And if I did the whole thing covered in that, I think it'd be quite cool. It'd be cool to do like a smaller scale, like orc or something like that. Um, as you can see here, these guys are pretty crazy, right? This guy has been being, he's been made for a while now. Uh, 
underneath it is, I think I said it in a previous video, this is some farm animals basically I got for my birthday, which is literally like what you'd get, you know, like a five year old, I suppose. But this is a horse, you know, large scale. And I was like, what the, what am I going to do with that? It's not much use. Um, This head is from, I think it was a recast of some kind of Warcraft orc from the movie. And this was a part of a skull or something like this, part of a kid. I bought it in some kind of Chinese shop. Anyway. And so that's his head. And as you can see, it's been like textured up with, uh, what would say that, like liquid green stuff and texture paste. And he's got eyeballs in there as well. Um, this covering here is a load of wet wipes. And I think there's different fabrics in there as well. And a little bit of just sand and that. And his tail is just bits and Bob, bits and bobs wires and bits of uh, EVA foam and stuff like that as well. The guy on top is a mix of a few different things. So it's some kind of skeletal, uh, I say he's a badass. Yeah, I'd say he's a badass. And he's got the bodies from, is it Mantic Games? So zombies that are very handy and the legs are too. The head is, I'm not sure, just some kind of random skeleton head. I gave him an eye, which is a, glass bead and the axe is scrap made but it's it's huge like it's ridiculous but i thought i just kind of fit made a cool silhouette here obviously it looks like a i don't know a dark souls boss like the weapon is just ridiculous you know um so it's quite just crude and ridiculous but i think it's gonna look great and probably over textured now at this stage but it's all you know texture paste and green stuff and blah blah, blah. that kind of stuff that's crepe paper or i think this is actually this is the level i'm on lads this is literally from like a hat that you get from a party popper uh no a cracker at christmas and you pull the crack and you tell a joke like uh why didn't the skeleton go to the party i had nobody to go with like some yeah but obviously christmas themed you know and i kept this because <laughs> i was like hmm, that takes texture really well i'm gonna put that in my wallet and now here it is on this skeleton uh, riding a, a dead horse or something, so that's what happens. Uh, but yeah, he's gonna he's gonna paint them really well. So basically, I have to just sculpt the hand here with green stuff, and I'm being lazy, and then I can put him on some kind of pretty epic base, and he'll be sorted. He started first, right, and then this guy came along, and I kind of I think I like him more. So this guy is sheep. He's got. Uh, previously, I did, I did a video, and it features like a demon that had, was made out of a sheep's arse. I said it was a horse's arse. It was a sheep's arse. Ramsbottom, that's actually a name in Ireland. It's a, it's a surname, is Ramsbottom. So I'm just thinking, do you know, previously when in the past, when people were called like Cooper, they made like, uh, was it Barrels or they might be called Stamper or, or whatever. What what did Ramsbottom do? Like, that's, that's a strange, or Woodcock, that's another one. I'm wondering what did they, that family used to do, you know what I mean? Uh, but anyway, right, don't worry about that. <laughs> this is all mad texture with, um, what is it? It's just, different bits of like craft stuff I had that was kind of like felt we'll say felt sheets and just a bit of twine this is a bit of Fomex with um with basically like PVA um covered in with sand and textured paste and crackle paint stuff like that and spike there just off the toothpicks like just to make some kind of really crude demonic steed for this uh crude demonic looking fella the body I actually cannibalized one of my nasty little grunts from um, Ramshackle Games. The few casts I got and took the body and his face, gave him a new face. He looks similar to a uh, penguin from, say, Batman, one of the Batman movies, I'd say, with his big snog. So, same thing again, I have to sculpt his hand with this chain. And I think uh, I'd give him some kind of loincloth or something here to finish off this bit. And don't, that's just after falling out, that's grand. And this is a big barbecue skewer with this mad gnarly ass weapon, which is just some plastic. And then the other end, he's got another, you know, whichever one he wants to choose, this end or that end. But yeah, he, I'm actually really looking forward to painting this guy because it's something about his, his pose and the kind of how relaxed he is. Yeah, he's on this weird ass creature, you know, strolling into battle, ready to just absolutely wreck people with this weapon of a creature. But yeah. Um, that's him anyway they'll be finished up at some stage and these two guys right we'll finish up on these guys this guy was destroyer you see him in a video there two three videos ago and uh, painted him up quite quickly he's some kind of like fell golem 
just put some green and then some dry brush and a wash and fish bash bosh I think he's done I wasn't too inspired by it I think I could probably dry brush over it for some more metal but I'm not really too bothered and the base is pretty standard but I think look he's done and he can go battle that other rhino looking fella this guy was um I had a book I have a book that I was reading my child my boy that had like little bits about monsters and stuff I had to stop reading it because it was giving him nightmares and I think so I've stopped reading it till he's a wee bit bigger. But there was a chimera in it and it was all other animals and um, basically mythical creatures and monsters from different cultures. And it was pretty cool. We finished it anyway. But so chimera. So we have toys. So we obviously are making a chimera because that's what you do. Um, but this guy has resculpted face and teeth and everything. Kind of cartoony, but I think it's going to look good. And the goat has an extra eye because that's quite, you know, that's quite goaty and demon demonic, isn't it? And this guy is going to be the tail, the snake. So I'm going to redo his teeth and do his eyes and make this like solid green stuff. So uh, he's going to be a wee bit goofy, but I think it's actually going to turn out quite good. And I think I'll let him paint him or let him put on the base layer anyway. And I'll go mad and do something else with it. So that's another good, that's another update, guys. Uh, let me know what you think of this stuff. Do check out, I know I go on about it the whole time, but Ramshackle Games, I know Curtis has cast stuff for me before. Um... And that and uh, that's class, honestly. And you should check them out. But do just check out the range as well because it's cool stuff. And it's very good. It's very good for how cheap it is as well. Um, and I'll be back soon making more bits and bobs. But like I said, like sub, uh, tell people about it as well. You know, like I'm not trying to push the YouTube or anything because I'm very obviously lax about it. But uh, it's cool. To see people interact or to see people make something similar or you know hear that they made oh, i had a go at making uh, messing with toys or had a go at like repainting a toy or had a go with some beads you know that's it i got into the beads because because of, of bill straight up like i i never had thought of beads before and now they were one of the my go-to uh let's say crafting materials just see what's around and see what takes your fancy and, and have a go of it, especially when the materials are so cheap and you know, this is all craft paint stuff. This is all cheapy paint stuff as well. So you, you don't even have to go mad on that end. And it's just another side of the hobby that I think it's so accessible that people should just give it a bash, you know. But uh, yeah, God, I can actually, <laughs> I can rant, can't I? Um, I'll catch you in the next one. Good luck.